Good afternoon, my name's Glenn Gilfoyle and I'm the principal at The Next Level. Uh, this afternoon, masquerading as Sherlock Tomes. Back on the case with Tomes more writings for our glossary for lovers of sales science. In fact, after last month's instalment, one punter asked me if I would define the difference between sales team optimization and sales optimization. Good question. Well, not all sales organisations possess the classic on-the-road territory-based sales team. Think about your sales organisation that goes to market via an online e-commerce platform. Think also about your more classic uh, bricks-and-mortar retail sales organisation. Uh, neither of these sorts of organisations possess that kind of, again, on-the-road territory-based uh, sales team. Yet, they still lend themselves to sales optimization because they are subject to uh, a sales process and sales function. So that would be the difference, and uh, thanks for the question. So on we go with the rest of our glossary. Uh, sales organization. So the functional departments within the organization that directly interface with the customers, most notably the sales team themselves, customer service team, sometimes the marketing department, sometimes the quotation department, sometimes the technical department, any of these departments that directly interface in the execution of the sales or the service process, we would think of as the sales organization. In other words, the sales organization is a subset of the whole organization. And we sometimes refer to them uh, as the front end or, or the customer facing part of the organization. Sales team efficiency. The minimization of activities, either visit or non-visit, that impede the sales execs from executing their planned proactive program of visits, uh, we would think of as those sorts of activities that lend themselves to sales team efficiency. So sales team efficiency as a concept couples up with its brother, uh, sales team effectiveness, and these two terms come together under the banner of sales team productivity. A useful barometer for sales team efficiency uh, comes in the form of the territory to office uh, ratio of a sales exec, time ratio that is. Sales team design. Another outcome of sales team optimization. So sales team design relates to the model quantitatives, things like uh, resource level, uh, full-time equivalent headcount of the sales team, the visit capacity, uh, coupling up with the qualitatives being uh, structure, deployment, role, bandwidth, and in turn further coupling up with skill sets required of the sales execs in, turn, in the form of uh, farming or account management skill sets and hunting or pipeline uh, management skill sets. So all these things come together in, uh, and can be thought of as sales team design. The sales process relates to the coordinated sequence set of uh, activities that all come under the name of finding, keeping and growing needs solution based relationships. In fact, the sales process is actually a series of processes uh, most dominantly characterised by the account management or farming process and the prospecting or hunting process. Sales function. So any person, team or department who carries or bears the responsibility of sales accountabilities and, uh, and is specified as tasks that would be seen, say, in a a position description or a team charter. These are the elements that come together as a sales function. So in this sense then, it's highly related to the to sales process, which I previously de de defined, but is different. And sales system really, and quite literally, is all of these concepts coming together. Uh, so sales process, sales team design, sales team efficiency, all these concepts uh, coming together and we would usually also include the uh, IT or software support, so the CRM, the customer database, when we think about and define sales system. So that's the end of the, this month's instalment. 
uh, please send in any other terms or clarifications for definition. And so it's over and out for now.